All right, so this is going to be an ex short explanation of the framing in the roof and the electrical. Uh, in my last video, I talked about the framing and how I uh, was doing that. You can see here we've got all the framing finished in the entire trailer. We've got the spars here on the front because of the amount of wind force that you get here. You want some extra uh, support there. Here you're on a curve, so it's a, a quite a bit stronger there. Um, but that's the that's the front of the trailer here. I'll show you real quickly on top. You can see on top here uh, all the framing all the way back here to the back. I have not put the last spar in yet. And you can also see all the electrical wiring. There are a number of different ways, and I can't get into all of it uh, because there's there's of course there's no no electrical in which case you still have to have what we call the 12 volt navigational lights uh, down here on the corners you'll see where we have a wire here and in the back there's a wire here when we put the hatch on there'll be of course tail lights uh, we call these the running lights or the navigational lights these are on anytime you have your lights on and then the tail lights will function as your your back running lights as well as your brake lights and your turn signals uh, every trailer's got to have that so that, that's a given. All of our connections are going to be made in the front of the trailer up here. You can see this big bundle of wire coming out. They're all going to made, be made in a box that's going to be attached to the front of the trailer. That will have the pigtail that will run out to the car, out to here on the tongue, and then attached to the car, to the tow vehicle. Um, so regardless of how you decide to do things, you'll have that. Uh, we're going to have a Later on you'll see we'll have a grommet right here where this will come out of the trailer and go back into the tongue box. So there's that. And then there's also the 12 volt wiring. 12 volt wire wiring would be anything that you want to have turned on without having your trailer uh, plugged in. If you just have a battery and you just want to run a very simple lights and nowadays uh, you start talking about um, charging cell phones, iPads, that kind of thing. So. We also have, as part of that, we have a light here. We're going to have a porch light. We'll have a switch. You'll see right here. We have a switch inside for that. You'll see on the other side over there, another switch. So we have a porch light on each side. Basically what we have is a power wire that comes up, comes up the front of the trailer. It goes over. It goes into the switch. And I'll show you right here, you'll remember when we framed, we framed in some uh, conduit into the walls. That wire comes down into the switch, power goes through the switch, back out of the switch, and then it comes back over, it's right, routed through here, and it comes out, and it is fished into the wall here. That's where that conduit is. You can see the end of it right there uh, that we used back in the, uh, way back when we framed the walls. So all that's starting to come together now. Another light that we have up top here, and I'll show you inside first. You'll see up top there, that wire hanging down. That's going to be a light up above. I'll talk about that later. But that will be a um, up top light. I would suggest that you have at least those two things. Um, these lights are nice. That way if you get out in the middle of the night and use the bathroom or just want to have a light on outside the trailer, those are nice. The light inside. Um, of course, you can have that um, just so you'll have light inside the trailer at night. A lot of people use uh, lights inside that are um, battery powered, but then if you have, uh, you know, you don't use a trailer for a few months, you got to constantly um, keep changing batteries every time you want to turn those lights off. So I prefer just to have one battery outside here and have, have everything run that. Um, let's see, the other thing we're going to have, and I actually don't have these in yet, is you'll see right here, I've got an extra piece of framing. There's going to be a shelf inside the trailer that that framing is for and it's going to go you can actually see right here that shelf is going to go across the trailer right here and it's going to attach and be up there okay um, that is also going to have a 12 volt connection for uh, a charging station for like a phone or something and also uh, we're going to have a light that we're going to install uh, on a front railing that's on there that'll be up idea is that that lighting this will be all led lighting as well that'll shine up and illuminate the top of the trailer to give a little bit of indirect lighting uh as far as other 12 volt light lights go 
we have a bundle of lights here I'll show you later but those are going to pigtail out and they'll come into the hatch and we'll have lighting back here uh, basically what you have is a hot in the ground for the light back here the actual overhead light and then we've got some other lights here these are going to be one's an extra wire and one will run our um, our brake lights tail lights our other uh, navigational lights one other thing I also mentioned is if you have a fan which I highly recommend it I'm using a fantastic vent you'll run a wire to that now one thing you'll notice about this you'll notice about the light up here and the difference in the porch light porch light has two wires going to it that's because the switch is going to be on the wall I already know that my fantastic vent has a switch on the unit itself so I just run one straight power wire to that and all the switching is done inside same thing for this light up here um, and I'm these actually the lights in here are going to be wireless I'll talk about that later uh, but long story short from the location where you're going to have the wireless controller at it's really sounds ex expensive and, and difficult but it's really simple um, you just need to have a wire run from that location to that light and that's going to be in the box so I've got that with the rest of the lights um, other than that uh, you can see all my, my wires here how I talked about that chase those are all going to be tight there ran down tight up against the ceiling that way they'll stay away from nails coming through from the top skin also um, up here one important thing is if you use a fantastic vent this is the road side or the left side the driver's side whatever you want to call it side of the trailer on that vent uh, it makes it a whole lot easier if you have this wire wired into the left side of the vent you'll see the vents going to be in that uh, square area right there we've got the wire coming on the left side of that if you ran it in the middle on the other side or in a different location that's going to make it a lot more difficult to wire in uh, so that's one key there uh, other than that it's pretty simple it looks like a lot of wires and it looks pretty complicated but it's actually not bad um, basically pull one wire to a location if you want to have a light there if you want to have a switch you pull a wire into the switch and out of the switch into the light so that's about it for now I'll give you a quick overview here of the trailer just to kind of show you where we're at quick look around the other side here and that's about it uh, thanks for watching and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up on it that really helps me out and also consider subscribing to my channel and you'll get updates whenever I post new videos uh, thanks for watching